Hi, uh, today I will give some basics for uh, creating Excel VBA sheet. So I'll just give uh, how to set up Excel page as well as how to wrote, uh, how to write uh, small codes. So first of all, after open your Excel workbook, so here you need to add a developer button so that you can uh, uh, create it by right clicking on the a ribbon uh, here you go for customize ribbon here uh, you will have a lot of options to select so select uh, developer generally it will used to be it will be untick so just uh, select this and then okay so the developer bar will appear with a lot of options and uh, okay before starting the code and you need to make few minor adjustment as well so go for customize ribbon go for trust center here in the trust center here you go trust center setting so here you'll have uh, options for uh, like for uh, macro settings so at oh it takes a note macro setting so here you have to select enable all macros okay and then yeah, so you have to uh, enable this okay and then uh, like uh, generally um, uh, for Excel uh, we will have uh, dot Excel less as extension when we are saving but for VBA you need to have a uh, uh, different uh, option so we have to make it as a macro enabled uh, worksheet so here So here the Excel workbook will be there, save as type, Excel workbook. So this you have to make it as second option that usually Excel macro enabled workbook. So if your workbook, if it is macro enabled, then only you can uh, create code and uh, you can do coding. Otherwise uh, it will not work. So you save it okay so i'll show you how it looks like yeah here is the book so if you see like uh, once it is macro enabled you'll have a uh, small uh, macro enabled symbol which you'll get uh, which is uh, like make sure that it is macro enabled workbook so for generally for normal excel sheet you will not uh, see that symbol if you see that if you compare between these two so normal workbook will have uh, uh, like plain without any additional uh, uh, macro enabled uh, symbol okay so uh, let me start with this okay so here i will explain a bit so uh, before are going to learn macros and uh, uh, VBA coding so it's better you know the layout of Excel sheet so try to explore as much as possible so which gives you a lot of control over the sheet okay so here we'll have uh, visual basic macros record macros so you can record what you are doing here and here insert you can do a lot of buttons like buttons you can insert and you can assign code later so if you go for visual basic uh, this is where we uh, write a code here sheet will be there so you, here also you can write uh, code uh, generally what we do is like when we are making a program we will like to keep it generalized so generally we will create in a module so this you can insert uh, you can do it by going to insert and insert module so here you will get a module one so you can insert as many module you want so here you can write a code or function so there are two types like generally normal process where we assign a code to execute it will execute only if you press a button another one is it's like function function is nothing but your sum let's say sum 
so this is function okay let's say i'll just create one uh, function one two three so sum is a function so we can create our own function okay so this is the function so even you can write your own function so let's say function sum a a enter and here you have to pass the values so let's say if i want to create add so a plus b plus c so okay sum is a plus b plus c so here the value should be a comma b comma c that's what i'm passing here so here i will show you how it will work so after that you can save this okay so this function is created so here i will go i will do add so it's already it's showing like if you press equals so it's already it's showing uh, uh, your function so you can just select one so here you don't need to add you have to put comma okay one second there is some mistake i think function is created but okay here i've done a mistake so it should be a d d d okay okay this is a function so this is what you should fit the result see it's showing now so make sure when you're writing code your uh, like letters and everything is matching if you make slight mistake then it will not you will not get your desired result and uh, function is such a way that it helps you a lot uh, like uh, once you created this function this you can use it anywhere in your uh, excel sheet so it's already it is uh, showing so you can just pass the values and it will give you the result so it can be anything like if you want to modify you can modify the function for multiplication and all your uh, like formulas for um, for your desired calculation so everything you can create using a function so that uh, it saves a lot of your time and it you can use anywhere and another uh, like important thing is like you can see formula easily here and you can uh, you can debug this so just type something in between the code and just double click here so it will take you to the debugging mode and then f8 so here you can see what are the values which you are passing a it is showing 3 b it is showing 4 c it is showing 5 so finally all this value will be multiplied and here you will have your result so this is the result what it is showing so the add function it is doing multiplication and you are getting your uh, desired result and uh, this is one excel sheet i'm just showing for example how we can use so this is uh, what we are inserting from here the insert so command button generally i prefer if you're using module to go with the button uh, form control not with the command button okay so then you can uh, write a code in module and you can link so this is a simple excel sheet which i created long back for uh, doing a steel design as per indian standard so show input data so it's like you can create so you can hide it is nothing just simple steps what we are doing in excel so that we can uh, implement here so so if you unhide like this many rows and columns we have so this is a sheet for designing a beam column and uh, here unhide shows everything and show result i just want to see the result so here i can see so i'll just unhide and i will show you how and another one option is there in uh, excel that is uh, that is i'll show you here insert this is user form so you can like i'll show you one user form yeah here so this is a user form so this is a user form is nothing but like you can have uh, 
what you call in the excel sheet uh, you can have this form so where you can import the data is that you can make it to display and also here uh, this is excel sheet uh, like uh, i created long back for doing uh, uh, design in the uh, steel uh, steel beam column design using uh, indian standard so where like you can copy uh, your forces from uh, stat pro and you can paste it because we will have let's say if we take summer in stat pro we will have minimum 12 cases so each will have where moment will be maximum somewhere um, shear will be maximum and somewhere aggregate force will be maximum so like we need to find a critical and it's very difficult to find which one will be more critical so it's very uh, difficult to uh, assess that so in that case you can check for all the lower cases you just copy and paste it and you can check um, check the um, design so in this in this sheet i've extensively extensively used uh, um, um, function i will show you some examples here here uh, like uh, we know that uh, when you are doing we need to make a section classification whether it is a uh, compact plastic compact or semi compact for a particular section so for that i have created in uh, uh, like for flange i have created uh, function name flange and for web i have created a web function i will show you here how it has been done here see um like for this i have most of i've written almost all what is there in is8 and all the codes i've just uh, incorporated here so one example is like flange so you can you can write a function and flange and with you can pass the values so what are the values you need to generally we need to know what is the breadth of the flange thickness of the flange and e okay and here you can like this is there in is800 so for plastic compact and this is the criteria and like ratio like with what we have to compare okay so with that you can just add simple if condition if this ratio is less than pl then we are calling it as a plastic section yeah here you can see nice 800 table 2 so here you have a for rolled section welded section we will have two different like how we can make it a plastic compact and semi compact so for rolled section you have certain criteria for welded section for built up section you have certain criteria and even like similarly for angle and other type of sections so it is b by tf so breadth by thickness of the flange so that you can see here what is b this is a b so it is means like you are uh, uh, half of uh, flange width okay and thickness of the web and why this plastic uh, compact and semi compact is classification is important is because you can identify the type of section and based on based on that your uh, uh, formula what has to be used will get changed so it's uh, first thing is for doing any design any in any code we need to identify what kind of section it is so plastic compact and semi compact i think you all know what it is so i don't think uh, it need to be explained and here uh, I've just implemented the same thing here like you can see if you can see here same thing uh, just uh, incorporated here and ratio I'm calling it as uh, breadth by thickness and ratio I'm just comparing if the ratio is less than PL PL means this then we are calling it as a plastic and next I'm using else if, if the ratio is less than PL and within a compact then this uh, compact section so similarly we are doing it so based on that i'll get output here and the uh, beauty of this function is like uh, once you've done it so next you just have to drag and drop so it will do you can do it for thousand uh, uh, beam and column so you don't need to there will be no mistakes just like formula how you do it so it's a, like easiest way and quickest way to do your calculations so let me say i'll delete this okay i'll delete i will delete all this so next if i want to just i'll drag so if i have so many beams here i just have to draw drag this okay 
if you have values it will show the result so based on the plastic you can finally come up with what is the um, uh, your uh, section type okay so similarly you can do for uh, calculation of plastic section modulus so we all know plastic section modulus is uh, um, that is z is nothing but area and the uh, centroid of it multiplied by the centroid okay so similarly like uh, for web i've done and here the function i've created for section modulus so here i've created so much of variation based on type of section whether it is if it is i beam or uh, ismc and IS. so based on that what uh, how the formula should vary and and like what value should take this is all uh, for section modulus calculation yeah similarly you can do for shear and a lot of other uh, like uh, functions you can just create it and it is uh, like what i can say it is the uh, easiest way so why i'm showing here is like the this how it is okay if a is greater than b then it will call it as it's fine and else it is not okay so that's what the, the output should be okay and then at the end we are closing with end if okay so the function i named as if if so i'll save this okay so i need to check between two values so a and b if a is greater than b then it is okay otherwise it is not okay so let's say i will type here a b two parameters so a i will call it as 10 b i will call it as 2 so i will use if if, if this is what i have created here if, if i am using i am passing two values here so it's okay because a is greater than b if it is reverse then then it is not okay okay so once it is done you can use it for any location a you can make it anyone so six here i'm putting it as a so it's showing okay and here you can see how it works just uh, just put some text here so that it will show error when you working so then delete this then f8 okay so here if function let's say if i'm just i'll type some text so that it shows error then i can debug yeah. debug step into so here a is uh, 1 b is 3 so i'll just see step into a is, a is less than b so it is not going here and it's coming to else and here it shows the result so which is not okay so that's what that's what we are getting here.